What's going on guys? Hope you guys have been good and are having a great week as usual. We're finally back in my actual apartment and I am so happy to be back home. Slight changes since my last room tour. The green walls are gone and switched out to cream. I love my green walls. I've had them for about four years or so, but it was time for a change. Slight upgrade to my bed area as well. I had this button suede cushion area installed in to enhance the coziness. I'll probably be doing another room tour once everything is done. I've still got a lot of small details I want to get done before that. But anyways guys, getting into the video. Today we've got the Birkenstock Bostons in the Mocha suede. These are my first pair of Birkenstocks. I put out a poll a while back asking you guys if I should be picking up the Bottega Puddle Sandals or these Birkenstock Bostons. You guys helped me decide and voted on these and I gotta say I'm actually really happy with these. These are pretty much the same vibe as the Bottegas at a quarter of the price and I'm really liking the suede material as well. But yeah, without further delays guys, let's get into the styling. Three ways to style these Birkenstock Bostons and then we'll check out the details and sizing advice at the unboxing at the end. We've got an easy spring summertime fit with the Jackman's tee, Perea Frazane Paisley print pants, and Cosby. These pants are always a favorite. Each pair is made unique per order, but unfortunately they are from a couple seasons back and are long sold out now. But they do bring out a really chill, easy vibe. I think the Bostons go really well with pants or trousers draped over them. Kind of gives them a more interesting and elevated image. To switch it up, we have look 2 in shorts. We've got the Zara Women's Knit Overshirt, Essentials Tank, Pangaya Linen Brown Shorts, and the AMI Cap. Even though we're doing shorts with this fit, I wanted to style something a little more interesting. Layering a super cozy brown knit overshirt, creating a nice flowy shape to the fit. Brown socks with the Bostons as well for a nice extra detail. Lastly for look 3, one for the colder seasons, we've got the Carhartt Wacko Maria jumper, pairing with the Visvim Hakama pants, vibing off the Americana aesthetic of the Bostons, and pairing some Visvims with them. Very Japanese streetwear inspired with an oversized jumper and oversized trousers. Once again, finishing up the cozy aesthetic with the Birkenstock Bostons. Now getting into the unboxing and details real quick, we've got that soft suede mocha upper with a suede lining on the insides, copper colored adjustable buckle straps, a cork footbed sitting on an Eva sole made in Germany. I've worn these about twice now since making the video. I'd say these are super comfortable for short term use. These are my first clog style footwear, so the feeling of them on feet was a pretty fun change. Going out for breakfast or lunch in these, or running some quick errands, these are perfect. But if you're planning on being on your feet and out all day, I'd honestly say sneakers are still going to be your more comfortable option. There isn't much support on the soles, so they might start to hurt your feet towards the end of the day. As for sizing, I'd say go true to your EU sizing for the most accurate sizing. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews with people either sizing up or down when referencing the US sizes. I tried them out in store and went true to size my EU size and that was the best fit for me. As a reference, I'm an EU42, which is a US9 for Birkenstocks, and I'm usually around a US9.5 or 10 for Nike. And that's gonna be it for me today, guys. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video on styling the Birkenstock Bostons in the mocha suede. Let me know which look was your favorite. Clocks seem to be getting pretty trendy right now. So if you're looking to try one out at a pretty affordable price point, i definitely be recommending these. But with that being said, that's going to be it for me today, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, share, or comment. It does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you enjoyed my content and would like to support me, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want more content from me throughout the week, don't forget to check out my Instagram. I'm also on TikTok now, so don't forget to check that out too. And yeah, much love guys. Peace. See you guys again soon.